Well, Betty, effectively, Russian troops are in control of Crimea. Military experts think they have at least 6,000 uh, soldiers on the ground working together with Russian-speaking militia. Yesterday, they surrounded Ukrainian military bases there. The day before that, President Putin got permission from the parliament to deploy troops. The interesting thing about that is that these uh, Russian forces appeared in Crimea before he got that permission, leading many people to suspect more troops uh, may be about to be deployed. The Ukrainians, for their part, uh, I think they're starting to see this as a long-term problem. The prime minister is addressing business leaders about 25 meters away from me at a conference here in Kiev, and he has said that the Russians are refusing direct negotiations. Um, meanwhile, uh, Ukraine is mobilizing its own armies. We have heard reports of volunteers signing, uh, signing up to join the Ukrainian military. I think the important thing to recognize, though, Betty, is that no bullets really have been fired yet. So it is possible that uh, this could all de-escalate at some point, though it doesn't look that, like that's very likely right now. Betty? Uh, Ryan, before I let you go, though, uh, tell me about the people in Ukraine. Are, how nervous are they that these tensions could, in fact, escalate to military action? Are you seeing, uh, you know, are you seeing peop less people on the streets? Uh, you know, has there been any disruption in business or operations? People are anxious. I don't think many people in Kiev, for example, saw this coming. They're very worried. Uh, I think most of them are resigned to the possibility that they may have just lost part of their country. They don't really see it as realistic to fight Russian troops in Ukraine. I mean, just to put things in perspective, the Ukrainian military, uh, the year before the last spent four, the country spent $4 billion off, the Russian military spent $77 billion. So they're not going to take on Russian forces. I think they're quite sure that no other country is going to provide troops to Ukraine to take on Russia. Um, that being said, uh, you know, there's still a little bit of a revolutionary spirit in the air here. It was just last week that the old government was ousted. So um, there's not a whole lot of anxiety on the street. Everybody's out there and still kind of celebrating, though uh, a little bit upset and, and resigned yeah. about the situation in the south of the country. And a tad bit anxious that it could spread to the east.